Hey there everyone, Phil Jill here. And today I will cover some of the hidden vendors that are spread around Azeroth in World of Warcraft that were added in the Burning Crusade expansion. Before we begin though, if you'd like to see more content like this and more, feel free to subscribe to my channel as that would mean a lot to me and help me in the future. So without any further ado, let's begin. On the first spot on our list we have Clopper Visbank. He is a lonely gnome hiding in a turtle shell on the Bloody Mist Island and you can find him next to the War Prison. There is a quest which leads you to him and he himself offers quests as well, but more importantly, he sells a decent amount of engineering supplies that can help you level your profession faster in the long run. He's also a decent sell point for any trash items that you can find while leveling in the area. So I really needed to add him to the list because he's so helpful. On the second spot we have a really special vendor that is located in Outland in the Blade Edge Mountain. This vendor is pretty special as he is hostile to both Alliance and Horde players. To get to him you first need to collect 5 costume scraps from the nearby Worm Cultist to use them to create an Overseer disguise. After using the disguise, you must be careful and enter the cave and the vendor is located left from the entrance in a dead end corridor. The items he sells are really special and have quite a lot of uses. He sells a really good fire resistance cloak which can help you a lot to get capped earlier and a really interesting item which is the orb of the black whelp. This item transforms you into a black whelp for 15 minutes and you cannot attack or use any spells during that time. It's a bind on pickup item and only has 3 charges, but you now know where you can get it if you ever run out of charges. He is a pretty interesting vendor and can help you a lot if you need these items. On the third and fourth spots on our list we have two merchants that are in the same location. Those are the aged Dalaran wizard and Thomas Jens the traveling merchant. Both of these merchants are located in the Old Hillsroad Foothills dungeon in the Caverns of Time. With the disguise you get by entering the dungeon, you can just go around the zone and explore the areas and you can find some pretty interesting events. Thomas Jans for example is patrolling between Terran Mill and South Shore selling goods to anyone interested. He sells mostly clothing like shirts and boots but also sells a really important and helpful item which is the pattern for the riding crop. The riding crop increases your mount speed by 10%, so it's really helpful for a lot of players, especially the ones trying to get the Nether Drake mount. The other vendor in this location is the H. Dalaran Wizard that patrols the roads with his apprentice. He isn't that special, but he is the vendor that sells the enchanting formula for the intellect to shield, which can be a decent upgrade for some if you don't have access to some of the higher formulas at the time. Just keep in mind that the enchanting formula is limited in stock, so be careful on who grabs it first. The fifth vendor we have on our list is also quite special, but different and difficult to get. And those are the Zulaman Forest Frogs. To get these vendors you first need to get the Zulaman Hex Sticks from the mobs in Zulaman that they drop randomly. At this point in time your focus will be to time the run so after doing that you can go to the middle altar and on the shores you will find a lot of forest frogs which are hexed. By using the hex sticks that you got from the mobs on those frogs you can get the vendors, but they spawn randomly, so you either get an NPC or you will find a vendor. The vendors there sell a special items, but the most special are the sealed scroll case which can contain buff scrolls and it also may have randomly some profession recipes as well. The other vendor can sell the hollow bone decanter on the other hand, which is different as it contains potions and flasks, so if you're lucky you can get some pretty valuable things from that one. Be mindful though, since both of these things are limited and if you get the right vendor someone may buy it instantly before you get it. So try to use the hex sticks uh, after like consulting the group or after everyone leaves the dungeon. Another two vendors that are located in the old Hillsrod foothills can be found in the South Shore Tavern Inn. 
One of these vendors can supply you with a Ranziran Black label, which boosts your stamina and can help you a lot while raiding. These two vendors are Barkeep Kelly and Chef Jason. The more important vendor is Barkeep Kelly as he sells a variety of alcoholic beverages as well as the more important Ramsey Rum Black Label, so you can source it from here for future raids or just to sell it on the auction house. The second vendor is Chef Jason and he's not that important but still can help you if you're low on food and can just visit the tavern in South Shore to stock up on some food. I really think that the old Hughesler footheels are really well made and offer a lot of interesting things for the explorers out there. This can help you a lot and you can meet a lot of lore important NPCs in South Shore before all of the scourge happened. Another vendor we have is Oronok Tornhard, who is located at a secluded farm in the hills of Shadow Moon Valley. He is an important NPC for a few quests in that zone, but also a vendor that can sell you food and repair your gear, which can be quite helpful in the zone. He is a vendor that you can repair your gear at and also sells you food. But the thing is, his pigs that he keeps on his farm respawn fast, so you can farm them for some leather and XP as well. So his farm can be quite a nice spot to farm for some leather for some players. In the hills of Terracor Forest lies the city of Skettis, where everything will try to kill you. The Shatari Skyguard takes the offensive against these enemies, but not many know that there is a hidden vendor in that city. The Arakoach Sahak, who is a keeper of scrolls, can be found in the middle island of Skettis, sitting inside his house. But to be able to buy the items from him, you first need to start the quest chain with the Shatari Skyguard. When you reach the quest A Shabby Disguise, you will get a costume which you will be able to use while in Terracar and you will be able to buy things from this NPC. He sells the quest item you need to finish the quest, but also the buff scrolls for agility, strength and stamina, which are all level 5. He can be a quite nice source of scrolls if you decide to keep the disguise and don't finish the quest, since you can get exalted with them either way. It will only take you a bit longer than with the quest, so I think this NPC could help you a lot at that time as he will supply you with scrolls for future raiding. So these are some of the hidden vendors spread around the world of Azeroth and Outland, but there are many more out there that I haven't even mentioned as you can find hidden NPCs all around the game, some with a purpose and some without one. If I missed any, feel free to let me know in the comments below, as I'm also finding out new things every day. Well, that's it for this video, leave a like if you found it helpful and if you'd like to see more feel free to subscribe to the channel as it would mean a lot to me. In any case, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one, but till then, stay safe.